That's Igor Rajakov, owner of 17 companies, employing close to 600 people, doing manual labor. Safety third. Safety third. Yes. It's amazing what volunteers will do if you pay them in meaning, not with money. That's what people want to be paid with, meaning. Throw Seasteads in, we can get major business leaders and entrepreneurs to climb around and risk their lives trying to get this done. <laughs> this is the future of humanity. Uh, for Seasteading to develop, there, are, there is a number of other systems that should be developed. And uh, my, my understanding or speculation is that it's very important that uh, we would be able to see more people that work uh, remotely. We would need to see this uh, satellite network, high-speed satellite network. Uh, also, another thing is uh, families with children. They, uh, they need online services to give uh, children, their kids, the uh, right education, school yeah. and college and education. And it's, this is also coming. Uh, I already found a number of institutions that do exactly that. Um, and also autonomous boats, autonomous dinghy boats. So you would be able to, to use uh, these floating facilities uh, without, uh, prop, without licensing. So you would just get this robotic boat come to you, you sit on it and it transports you to your seastead or houseboat. And, and same with cargo. So you would get uh, this Amazon goods delivered directly to your doorsteps. And I think seasteading is also uh, is kind of, is could be a crystallization point of uh, of new way of uh, operating. So where we could start from scratch and uh, develop from there, doing everything right, or at least how we we would imagine to, to make it right. And of course, we wouldn't have excuse that someone government didn't do this right or that. So it it would be up to us how to how we would uh, realize this. Yeah. Uh, I like that the incentives would be aligned, like the people involved are highly incentivized to make a spectacular, better uh, society, and the best possible people are going to be attracted to that initially. But people always say, like, well, why can't you just make a better society on land? Like, what's, what's unique about the water with regard to energy and anything else that allows you to do things better? Well, it's, uh, it's really a, f uh, a clean slate where uh, you're in middle of nowhere you're not limited uh, second you're mm, you're left alone so finally a man could be could could be uh, well people could be left alone to, for them to, to do what what they need and uh, also also uh, water has a lot of uh, location in ocean has uh, a very interesting uh, how to say, uh, interesting set of uh, circumstances. First of all, there is no this limitation in, in space, so we don't need to be limited in one studio, or, so we could, we could have as much space as we can, so we could put uh, solar panels, we could make, uh, we can connect uh, as many platforms as we want. Uh, uh, and if we could put a lot of uh, inexpensive solar panels of, on water, it means that we would uh, live in, uh, we would bring ourselves in future where, where we would have lot of uh, uh, abundant uh, energy and cl clean and abundant energy so we could solve a lot of uh, problems by having energy for example we could uh, maybe we could uh, incinerate some of waste we maybe we could use a sophisticated uh, a platform that that would uh, stabilize your chair or bed you're in uh, storm so you wouldn't feel that well it's uh, you wouldn't feel storm on and wave and you wouldn't be seasick so there are a lot, lot, lot of unique uh, I, I think a lot of uh, uni uniqueness in uh, when you when you have uh, plenty of energy to to solve your uh, your, your problems and uh, and this uh, and this is a unique place to to, to have these uh, circumstances